last lesson we learned about ratios. Today we are going to look at proportion. Proportion and ratios are closely related. When two ratios are equivalent, we say that they are proportional. And what could that mean? Let's look at the example that we used last lesson. That is the example of mixing the paint for our room. Last week we talked about your mixing of one tin of blue paint with two tins of green paint to paint your room. And your mom liked that color as well. However, to paint the living room, we need 12 tins of paint. As a result, we are going to need 4 tins of blue paint with 8 tins of green paint to get exactly the same color. 1 tin of blue paint to 2 tins of green paint and 4 tins of blue paint to 8 tins of green paint. These two ratios are said to be proportional. Note that they are also equivalent ratio. What does it mean when we say that two sets of quantities are proportional? When one of the quantities doubles, the other quantity also doubles. When one quantity increases by three times, the other quantity also increases by three times. In such a case, we say that they are proportional. For example, when the blue paint is increased by four times, the green paint is also increased by four times. We say that they are proportional. One more thing that we should note is that when two sets of ratio are proportional, they are equivalent ratios. For example, the first ratio here is 1 to 2. The second ratio, after we simplify it, is also 1 to 2. The ratio 1 to 2 and 4 to 8 are equivalent ratios. We can also look at equivalent ratios in this way. The ratio of one tin of blue paint before to four tins of blue paint after is 1 to 4. The ratio of two tins of green paint before to eight tins of green paint after is also 1 to 4. These two ratios are also the same. Put it simply, if two ratios are equivalent, they are proportional. Now, let's see whether the following ratios are proportional. Determine whether the following pairs of ratios are proportional. To compare the two ratios, let's make the first part of both the ratios the same. We need to find a common multiple for 1.5 and 5, and that can be 15. If we multiply the first ratio by 10, we get 15 to 40. If we multiply the second ratio by 3, we get 15 to 36. These two ratios are not equivalent, so they are not proportional. One more question. Determine whether the following pairs of ratios are proportional. The second ratio, 42 over 54, can be simplified to 7 over 9. So both the ratios are equivalent, and hence proportional. 